Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth episode of the Movable Block Entry series, where we experiment with movable block entries in the Java edition. Today we want to revisit the concept of making a perimeter using TNT dispensers. In episode two, we already made this fully functional dispenser world eater with flying machine going back and forth, blowing up the landscape below. But I think we can do even better in terms of TNT efficiency if we put in a bit more building effort. What can definitely be improved would be the TNT layout. So each TNT here represents one explosion. So in case of the TNT efficient dispenser world eater, we had a dispenser on a flying machine every fifth block and we had a T flip flop. So it only dispenser TNT every second block. So basically one explosion covered 10 blocks. This was already more efficient than for example, the TNT duping world eater. We had a TNT duper every sixth block and just duped every single block since we didn't need to care about TNT efficiency there. But I think a better layout would actually be this one here that we could make with a dispenser grid. So I have an explosion every sixth block, then also between the dispenser lines, have six blocks in between and have an offset here. So this is right in the middle between those two explosions. So there's a radius around the explosion where the blocks are taken out. I think this would probably be one of the most efficient layouts we can yeah, make. But it's kind of hard to get this to work on a flying machine. It's definitely also possible, but requires a lot of effort. Simplest would be to just have a dispenser right where I want the explosions and just move the dispensers down. So I have a movable dispenser grid. The setup for the dispenser grid would also be very simple to build. So we just need a dispenser that points into a honey block. This helps with the TNT alignment. And then we also need blocks here, full blocks here on the top, to prevent the TNT entity to stick to the honey blocks on the side to make sure it falls down correctly. So that's why we have the blocks here. And that's pretty much it. We just need to yeah, chain this. So here we got a chain of two dispensers. TNT gets aligned with the honey. That's all we need. Just chain it a couple times and build the next line with a little bit of an offset. All right, let's build this up. So let's check it out. So here got roughly a 100 by 100 grid and one explosion would cover 36 blocks. So this is 3.6 times better than the TNT efficient world eater, but it's definitely a lot more effort to build this. So here we just got a 100 by 100, but if you scale this up and for example, make a full render distance perimeter with render distance 16, so 528 by 528, then this is quite a lot more build effort. And also each dispenser has to be filled with TNT, which in a time of striker boxes isn't that much of an issue anymore. We actually made a stationary dispenser grid once on Cycraft in 1.8. And this was already a little bit better than dinging, in my opinion, but the most effort actually came from yeah, transporting uh, all the TNT items without shulker boxes and, had, and we had to fill those. All right, let's actually check it out. Let's push this on. I also really like the pattern it makes. And at the bottom, we just got a huge block of stone, which is actually not the hardest thing it needs to deal with. So it's just stone. Um, What's probably a bit of more of an issue is if there's some water in between. Like with the world eater, water is the real problem because it can't be blown up. Obviously, you would need a sweeper at the bottom to get rid of that. But if you look at the stone alone, the explosions are definitely powerful enough to take that out. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay. So I guess this test was successful. Now let's actually head over to regular world and try it also with some water in between. So now a test with some normal world generation. I'm just gonna use a command to get rid of the liquids at the bottom. We got it set up here. This basically simulates a sweeper would we would have at the bottom. So now we want to see if there are any leftover blocks that the sweeper would get stuck at. So I'm just gonna, yeah, after dispense the TNT, get rid of the liquids like a sweeper would do. Then we have to check if there are any leftover blocks. At the moment, there are no liquids, but yeah, I've made sure that there's an ocean biome in between. I've got a couple lakes here, so I kind of move this down a couple more times. And then, yeah, we can see it's gonna happen. Oh, actually, here we got some liquids. Now, I totally forgot to remove them. 
Okay. It would look like this. The, the moment no blocks are left over, the sweepers would go over here. I'm not quite sure what kind of sweeper we would use. Um, maybe it might be necessary to have one where we have a, a downwards facing uh, piston that also takes out the water sources one lower, so this is possible. Okay. Now the next liquids are removed and then we send it back down again. I just want to see if this is feasible or if yeah, we maybe need to have a tighter dispenser grid. But at the moment, it looks really good. Okay, the next batch. And the potential liquid sweepers now would we'll take out this. Yeah, they wouldn't get stuck. Yeah, so far it looks really good. It's only interesting to see now what's going to happen with the ocean. Also seems like the ocean removal is working fine. Send in another batch. Also tick off that real quick. Okay. Next we would take out tall seagrass, kelp and water. Water and kelp plant. And it's looking good. So I'm basically looking for blocks that would be higher, where the sweepers would get stuck at. But it seems like that's not the case. Yep. So I think World Eater using this dispenser grid would be successful with a sweeper down below. I definitely call this a success. So 3.6 times more TNT efficient than the dispenser World Eater. Especially for smaller perimeters is probably the best option. But obviously the larger the your perimeter gets, the more effort it takes to build this. Since you need to cover every single block and just can't have a flying machine that covers a whole line at once. Uh, you might also be wondering if it's maybe somehow possible to use a flying machine instead. It's definitely possible as so you could either have some kind of a separate flying machine that would activate the dispenser every six block. So basically you have a Binary counter and then a, a system that uh, activates every three times. It's definitely possible to make something to activate every six times. Or you would have a, like a redstone block grid at the top. So if we have, yep, we have TNT in there. It would also be an option to have something like this maybe. But this would also require you to move the redstone blocks down, which is basically the same amount of effort as yeah, just having a dispenser here directly. So I'm not quite sure if that would be the best way to go. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of options and in case we would ever get movable tile entities, there would be a lot of content we have to go through and a lot of testing to really find the best way to do things. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!